Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to add a sorting feature in the portal side. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to add pagination in the form level, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel under the playlist. You can go to the Odoo development and here you can see different playlists available with the different topic wise with the real test cases and this is the main playlist for the Odoo development and in case you need any support related Odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the github make sure you can follow that repository and we have some social media pages make sure you can follow those pages to get the latest notification. So let's back to our main topic like how you can implement sorting feature in the portal side. So let's say if I will go to the quotation right here you can see the sort by feature is available right order date reference and the staging. So based on that like we can also implement the same feature in the student profile. So far we have done a lot of things like how you can create a main menu here how you can add the list view like this. Then after how you can also open the form view like this beautiful form view plus here you can see the pagination also available in the list view pagination also available in the form view and today we will see how you can also add the sorting feature in this brad scrum all right so here the first thing is we have to only work in the controller level okay and here we can manage the sorting feature so first thing is we have to design some sorting feature so for that uh, maybe let's check here if there is a sort so here the sorting is not available by default in the portal but it is also available in the accounting sales purchase as well as in the project level all right but we will try to maintain from our side right okay so for that for that like we can use here like sorted list and here we can use this dictionary and in a dictionary based on the key we will try to add a dynamic sorting feature only in the controller level okay we don't need to manage anything in the js part or in the template side i mean in the xml side we we have to only done in this python side only all right with the easy steps so here uh, let's say by default like i want to add id right then after sorting by the name and sorting by the school underscore id all right so this is the thing and here i will pass here the small dictionary under the dictionary we have to pass two things the first thing is the label all right and another thing is order so order by we have to maintain right so for the id we can use the id as a descending order all right and this should be the existing field name under this order key so we have to apply the same thing in each and every key right the name so name is like id the descending order after that let's say here name and then after let's say the school so this id descending this name and the school it should be available in the front end side for the user purpose this level but for the backend operation we are using this order as a key and now i will use like let's say name with the ascending order and for the school underscore id as the ascending order okay now another thing is this short by we have to also maintain here in the controller part so for that we have to maintain like short by this is the prefix parameter we compulsory have to pass okay we will see later on like how so right now i'm just trying to add like this by default i will add a value as a id okay after that like the same this sort by like whatsoever 
sorted by this parameter i mean this parameter whatsoever is there we have to link here so let's say default order by so i will use here the key and key should be the order by so it will return here as a let's say if i will pass here by default id then it will return this dictionary and here i will use like order so let's say by default the first time it's having a sort by id then after we will call like which sort by parameter here it's passed like let's say id so id is here we will like try to find out the order key so i will use here and in this default underscore order by having a id descending and this parameter we have to pass here order by all right so if you remember the search orm method we have we can also pass order by as a order and then this parameter all right okay now another thing is we have done this part right now what we have to do is simple we have to pass in the page detail as a new variable which is called url args and it supports as a dictionary here all the sorting and searching related features right we have to pass here sorry like this and here like i will use the same variable the key and the variable name the same okay after that it will automatically manage the url it will generate the url specifically right and another thing is this is the main wells like you contact we are passing for this template okay so here we have to also pass one more key not only one but two keys we have to pass so first thing is this sort by right and we have to display in the front end side all these three options okay so for that like let me add this sorted underscore list as a value and here the parameter should be like same search bar underscore sortings that's it and another thing is we have to restart the service only no need to upgrade the module okay we have a error all right so here i forgot to add this comma sign here all right so let me restart one more time so everything is up and running here if you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained and now i'm going to here now you can see once i will refresh the page here in this corner the right corner you can see the sort by feature also available okay so you can see id descending name and the school if you see here we have done id descending name and the school okay and for more information i will also try to add one more thing which is the id so simple i will try to upgrade this module and refresh the screen now you can see the first one is the dish right now the data is displaying as a descending order right 15 14 13 11 and 10 something like this if i will go to here in the next tab you can see like this right let's say why it's display like this because due to this sorting feature if i will select the name you can see it will start with the capital a right so the first one is the c j r r s like this all right and end with this small s so like this way you can ascending based on the name plus ascending or descending based on the school profile you can see i just added here the school and it's having a something like this 
uh, actually i added here the school id okay so it's ordered by the id only the school id due to that it's display something like this so simple thing is we don't need to uh, change anything in the por uh, xml side or js side simple we have to pass uh, we have to create a one list dictionary it should be a compulsory let's say label and order for each and every key right the key should be the field name it is possible okay if it is not provided by any field uh, as a field name you have to maintain here another logic that is also fine so i'm using here the field name right and whatsoever we selected in the front end side that key i will search from here and it will return only the order by what it is uh, inside it is right and it will store here in this menu uh, in this variable and simple we have to pass here order equal to default underscore order by variable plus another thing is in the pagination wise we have to compulsory pass this url args otherwise it won't be work in the next page while you switch to one to another page so we have to compulsory pass the arguments sort by right this is the compulsory key and here whatsoever you provided the variable you have to provide here plus another thing is while you return the this template right the render the template that time you have to compulsory pass these two keys the sort by right and this search search bar underscore sorting and here we have to provide this list this dictionary that's it and after that you don't need to worry about anything related sorting it will automatically manage by odoo okay so this is the sorting related development we discussed so in our next session we are going to see how you can also add search bar based on the condition all right so if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in next session